Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? My name is Angela, and in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So I have my friend. You may know her. Her name is Maria from Forever Crafty. Um, she does like a lot of paper crafts and stuff, like for cartoons. They're pretty big. They're like, she makes some huge things. And it's pretty crazy to see how she turns them you know into real life because they're massive but i'll put her instagram here and you can follow her if you want to order any birthday props or like wall decor because you can still put it on your walls i'm thinking about getting like rainbows made for riley's room um she does a lot of cool stuff so you can check her out on instagram her daughter's birthday is coming up so she asked if i can make her a uh, roblox birthday shirts this is not paid guys it's not paid she's my friend um and the thing is she is my most interesting customer <laughs> and customer i just saying customer because you know we usually do etsy on here but she has a lot of requests let's say clients okay she has a lot of requests a lot of <sighs> she's a little picky but it's cool because i like her so she wanted me to put a rainbow on the background of these shirts now for us who do embroidery i'm not doing a whole rainbow and embroider 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 and then try to do embroidery over that that just wasn't gonna work and then she went like this uh sp specific rainbow so she wants the rainbow in the back and then like the birthday design in the front so i was like hmm maybe i can do sublimation and embroidery now normally you probably wouldn't be able to do both um especially for kids shirts because sublimation shirts are normally thin but the only reason I am attempting this is because I'm going to be using AJ Blanks and the AJ Blanks sublimation shirts are thicker than most sublimation shirts. So I'm going to be trying it just because I have these thick shirts. Otherwise, I would have said, no, this is not possible. It ain't happening. But again, these are pretty thick. So I think they should hold the embroidery. Now, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And we just have to come up with another idea. But that is the plan. So we're going to be mixing sublimation and embroidery. And if this works, I think it opens a whole new gateway. Now, um, in terms of machinery and equipment, so I have a Hotronics uh, Auto Open heat press, <laughs> and then I'm using the Epson F570 sublimation printer, and then for embroidery, I'm going to be using the Melco EMT16X. All the links are down below for any of those equipments uh, that you may want to purchase or look into. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the sublimation first. So, I already have the design the design printed so the idea is for the rainbow to literally like start kind of like at the neckline and then have like just show a little bit of the rainbow so it's supposed to be in the background so the seven is probably going to block off some of this and then the character will be here but this is going to be all the way at the top i don't know how this is going to turn out um hopefully she likes it in the end hopefully if you're excited for today's video please hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon that way you don't miss any of my future videos so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it all right, so here's a design, and we are going to rip it. That way there's no harsh edges, harsh lines. Um, when we go ahead and sublimate it onto the shirt. All right, and let's go ahead and heat the shirt. We're going to pre-press it, lint roll it, lint roll it, roll it, roll it. It will lint roll a lot. Anywhere that the heat is going to be touching won't fail. We are going to be lint rolling. If you don't lint roll enough, when you do your press for the sublimation, you will have blue dots on your shirt. And that is just the lint that was st stuck and you didn't get it up. So I'm going to do two sheets just to be safe because I don't want to make this shirt again. I'm just gonna heat it for like three seconds and that is it. Alright, that is it. Alright, so I have a piece of butcher paper I'm gonna go ahead and put in the middle of the shirt so that way the ink doesn't go through both sides and bleed to the back. Again, this design is only gonna be on the top. So that should be good. And here is the design. And again, I'm putting it as high up as possible. 
I may want to make it bigger than this. I think I need to reprint this. I think this is going to be too small. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. I didn't re it's reprinting now, but I just wanted to have an idea. So this is the hoop I'm going to be using, the 8x9. And I'm placing it right where I'm going to place it to see if I actually needed a bigger uh, design. Because the embroidery is going to be here. So it may be fine, but it doesn't hurt to make it a little bit bigger just to be safe. Um, so let's try that out. All right, so here's the new one. So yeah, I definitely like the bigger one. So let me take this out and let me fold this in half so that I can get this center, approximate center. All right, so like I said, I wanna put it up as high as I can on the shirt and I think this will be good. She said she didn't care if the rainbow was crooked because <laughs> it's a rainbow. So yeah, I think that is pretty good. And the five will be, there's a seven. Seven will be here. And then the Roblox character will be here. So let's go ahead and tape this up. And you use tape this is heat resistant tape because you don't want the design to move because then it will ghost meaning you'll have like it'll be blurry um so let's go ahead and get it on the heat press we'll need another piece of butcher paper on top then we are going to press it for 60 seconds 385 degrees That's what it looks like. Now let's call her to confirm her color selection. Hello, ma'am. Just calling to confirm your color selection. Here. That's what the colors look like. Oh, that's pretty. No? I'm just asking you. I am midway through a video right now. So I was like, let me call her and ask her <laughs> her thoughts. I think, I think they're good. Okay. We like it. We approve. Okay, all right, peace out. Peace out, homie. All right, so now it's time for our embroidery as usual. So we're just gonna do this just like we would a normal embroidered shirt, hoop it, embroider it. We'll see if the AJ Blanks sublimation shirt can hold the embroidery. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw it on the machine. Gosh.
my goodness look at this that is so cute so cute oh my gosh so it does work all right so i went ahead and tender touched it i think it came out amazing that is crazy so thank you maria for the idea i would have never did this <laughs> So like it definitely adds a whole nother element to the whole embroidery aspect because instead of having to embroider something like this would take extra time, maybe I could just maybe put embroidery through a rainbow, stuff like that, like stuff on my end embroider. I think this is like super cool, super awesome. Came out great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and leave a comment down below about what you think and are you going to try sublimation and embroidery mixed together. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!